Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about tasks and functions in system with log. First, we will discuss about the differences between functions in Verilog and functions in system Verilog. Functions in Verilog should not have any timing constructs. They should be executed in zero time unit. That is, a function should not have any delays. A function should not have any delays. They should be executed in zero time units. Whereas system verilog also follows the same. That is, in system verilog also, functions should not have any delays. They should be executed in zero time units. And coming to second point, functions in Verilog can have only input arguments. That is, for example, if we declare a function a, then the arguments of the function should only of input type. Functions in Verilog can have only input arguments, whereas the functions in system Verilog can have both input, output and inode arguments. Here in system Verilog, if we declare a function, then in that the arguments can be of input, output or inode. Here in Verilog, functions cannot be of void type. Whereas in system Verilog, functions can be of void type. And in Verilog, multiple statements in a function require begin and block. For suppose in a function, if there are multiple statements, then they should be begin and block present. Whereas in system Verilog, multiple statements in a function doesn't require begin and block. Here, no need of declaring any begin and block. Whereas in Verilog, if there are multiple statements, then we should declare a begin and block. We should use a begin and block. Next, coming to fifth point, returning from a function before it ends is not possible. For suppose, here if we declare a function, before the function ends, we cannot get out of the function. Whereas in system with log, we can get out of this function by using the keyword return before the function ends. So returning from a function before it ends is possible using the keyword return. Whereas in Verilog, we cannot return, we cannot exit from a function before it gets n. After the function completes its execution, we can exit from the function. Whereas in system with log, we can return from the function before it ends. Next. Pass by value is only mechanism for passing the arguments. Here in system wedlock, pass by reference, pass by name and pass by position are the available mechanisms. These we will cover in upcoming slides. Task in Verilog and task in system Verilog. Tasks in Verilog can have timing constructs. That is, it can have delays or any type of timing constructs a task can contain. Whereas in system verilog also can have the timing constructs. Next, multiple statements in tasks require begin and block in case of verilog. Whereas in case of system verilog, multiple statements in task doesn't require any begin and block. In case of system verilog, multiple statements in task doesn't require any begin and block. Next, returning from a task before it reaches to end is not possible. Before, for example, if we declare a task and before its completion, we cannot get, we cannot exit from the task. Whereas in system with log, it is possible by using the keyword return. We can exit from the task before its completion using the keyword return. Here in task, pass by value is only mechanism for passing the arguments. Whereas pass by reference, pass by name, and pass by positions are the available mechanism which are present in tasks in case of system with log. Functions in system Verilog. Arguments of a function can have input, output, or in outputs as arguments. For example, if we declare a function add, then this function can have input arguments, output arguments, as well as in out arguments in case of system with log. Whereas in Verilog, 
a function can have only input type of arguments in case of Verilog. Whereas in Verilog, void functions are not possible in case of Verilog. Whereas void functions are available in system Verilog. So these are the differences between functions in Verilog and functions in system Verilog. Here, if no direction is specified, then by default, it is assumed as input port. For example, if in the arguments of the function, if we do not declare any input or output, then by default, it is declared as input port. Void functions in system Verilog. System Verilog allows functions to be declared without any written value. These functions without any written values are called void functions. Let us see an example of void functions and for suppose here we declare two variables of int data type that is a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 7 and let us declare another variable that of int data type that is sum let us take a function add function int add int is a written type of the function and input argument x is an input or input port of 4 bit data type of size 4 and y input type of size 4 and z is an output output type of size 6 here z is equal to x plus y here we are ending the function and function void display here void indicates that there is no written type for the function this function will not return anything whereas here function int add here the written type is int and within an initial begin and block we are calling the function add and we are the we are passing the arguments a to this function add and in place of x a will be copied and in place of y b will be copied and in place of z sum will be copied so here z will be equal to x plus y that is sum will be equal to a plus b and display this is a void function here we are calling calling this function void display so it will display the value of z which is nothing but the value of sum written statement in system verlog written statement can be used in two ways written expression and written here in written expression exits from a function and returns value through expression here if we use this return of expression we will exit from the function and it will return a value through the expression whereas in case of only written it exits from a task or a function without reaching the end let us see an example for written keyword here we have declared two variables a comma b and of into data type and we have assigned two values to it phi comma seven and we have declared another variable int sum of data type int and we have declared a function of written type int and function name is add here x is input type y is also input type and z is output type and z is equal to x plus y here we are using the written keyword and here we are using z is equal to x minus y and we are displaying the value of sum by using this function display this written type of this function is void that is no written type void indicates that there is no written type within an initial beginning block 
we are calling the function add so here the value of a is copied to x and the value of b is copied to y and z is copied to sum in the case in, in the place of z sum will be substituted copied and in the place of x a will be substituted and in the place of y b will be substituted and here we are using the written keyword so we will exit from the function and this and this step will not be executed because we are using here written keyword we will exit from the function we will so z is equal to x minus y is not executed thank you for watching this video